Get full episodes of The Damage Report as a podcast on iTunes and Android, and you can watch the live show every weekday on YouTube TV. Obviously, the midterms are going on, and over the past week or two, we've been profiling a lot of really horrendous ads. Uh, generally from Republicans, although yesterday we uh, showed you a few of Joe Donnelly's ads. And uh, today we've got an ad coming out of Arkansas. This is a radio ad. It is by a super PAC, it's not by the candidate himself, but it is in support of Republican French Hill. And just take a look at this. It is, in its own terrible way, absolutely fabulous. What do you think about what's happening in Washington? Congressman French Hill and the Republicans know that it's dangerous to change the presumption of innocence to a presumption of guilt, especially for black men. If the Democrats can do that to a white justice of the Supreme Court with no evidence, no corroboration, and all of her witnesses, including her best friend, say it didn't happen, what will happen to our husbands, our fathers, or our sons when a white girl lies on them? Girl, white Democrats will be lynching black folk again. Honey, I've always told my son, don't be messing around with that. If you get caught, she will cry rape. I'm voting to keep Congressman French Hill and the Republicans because we have to protect our men and boys. We can't afford to let white Democrats take us back to bad old days of race verdicts, life sentences, and lynchings when a white girl screams rape. Paid for by black Americans for the president's agenda, not authorized by any candidate or candidate's committee. Wow. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Wait, I need a bucket because I have to throw up because that was seriously disgusting. Was that, was that silk and diamond or whatever? The, was that them? I think it, I don't I, know that it is. I think that's what they were going for. I, I mean, this is a really arch sort of coonish black, but we gotta protect our men and our husbands mm -hmm. from these white women. When they said, don't mess around with that, at first I thought they're gonna say, don't mess around with the Democrats, but mm -hmm. I think what that was, don't mess around with white I women. I think that's what they meant. Which yeah. was like, what, what? Yeah. That, I mean, victimhood circus there, right? And the right <sighs> is, and Trump are all about, we are the real victims. This new line about it is men who are really the ones mm -hmm. who are in trouble with this Me Too thing, and we need to protect our sons and our husbands from this marauding caravan of women who are going around lying mm -hmm. about our men. I, I, this is, that was, so disgusting, <laughs> it, was, it was frightening. Yeah, yeah, and uh, that's what's around there. Now, look, as we said, this is not an ad by the Republican, uh, to be clear. And in fact, French Hill, the Republican that's mentioned there, says some may have heard an appalling ad on the radio. I condemn this outrageous ad in the strongest terms. I do not support that message and there is no place in Arkansas uh, for this nonsense. It now, would not air if he didn't want it to air. Yeah. I, I and that's that's what the Democrats said in response. Yeah, I, I don't believe that he can just say like that's just something that somebody who supports me said. I don't have mm -hmm. anything to do with that. If he really didn't want that, it would not have made it's the been light on for of day. weeks. Yeah, been on for weeks. Yeah. It was like a fifty thousand dollar ad buy. I mean, like even if you said Tori, you don't know what you're talking about. These this has to be separate. Mm -hmm. But after the first time, surely somebody in the campaign would say, "You got to kill that. Yeah, like, yeah. We don't need this. Like, what are you talking? about? That's not who we want to be. Like, mm -hmm. no." And they just let it go. I mean, this is this is up there with Willie Horton and these sort mm -hmm. of race baiting ads that are, I mean. I don't even know who are these black folk for Trump. Well, people? let's talk about like, that. <laughs> I did a little bit of research. So, oh, okay, uh, good. Yeah, bear in mind, this is a district that's 23% black. So, uh, you know, that's a, that's an important, that's a disproportionately large percentage mm -hmm. of that mm -hmm. district. So, uh, Vernon Robinson uh, is the founder of Black Americans for the President's Agenda. He is black. He says that this ad is revenge for the Kavanaugh hearings, which sort of comes through in the ad. Why do you need revenge, you won? He says that it was just, that's a great point. But <laughs> he says uh, the Me Too movement has overreached. If Claire McCastle gets less than 90% of the black vote, she loses. Um, ads like this have run in one other location as well in a different state. So uh, Black Americans for the president, President's Agenda is founded by a conservative black American. I did some research and this is the, this is the worst kind of research, don't put any faith in this whatsoever. But I went on Open Secrets and I looked at who's funding this group. And they've raised somewhere between 60 and $120,000, almost all in $1,000 increments. So this is not like a populist sort of thing. Right. And I am just going based on an analysis of the names. 
I don't think that black Americans are funding this group. <laughs> That's a crazy thing to say, I know, but um, I mean, yeah. This, this, this sudden fear from the lock her up crowd that you know we're, we're tending toward guilty until proven innocent, mm -hmm. and thus we're worried about getting lynched. I mean, the, the way, you know, I'm, I'm old enough to remember the autopsy after, mm -hmm. what was it? 2012, mm -hmm. right? When Reince Priebus said, oh, yeah, hey, yeah. we gotta reach out to people of color. We cannot be an apartheid party that's filled with white people, mm -hmm. but they struggle. How do we reach out to people of color? Probably because within the right, there's a desire to not discuss race, right? Mm -hmm. As if color blindness is the ultimate state. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you guys do identity politics. Well, you do too, you just do it for white people, mm -hmm. right? But and I would say more consistently and more obviously. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's hard to do actual outreach to black and brown people if mm -hmm. you're like, but we must be colorblind because talking about race is racism in and of itself. Yeah. Um, this, is, this is really, like the more it settles in, the more disgusting it is, just the, the coonish tone of the voices, the suggestion that lynching is coming next, that mm -hmm. men are the real victims here. And we, I mean, so much of this mimics the president's language during and after Kavanaugh. Yeah. So you see a very direct relationship between the president saying these insane fact-free based fact -free things and uh, the right grabbing it and repeating it. This lie about her best friend said it didn't happen. That did mm -hmm. not, that is she not. She says she believes her. Right, that is right. That is not what happened. Dr. Ford explained exactly what happened. Her lawyer made a statement, her friends, you know, I mean, this notion of like there's no evidence and no corroboration, it's just disgusting. Yeah, yeah, they've been, um, I mean, look, there's there's propaganda on all sides, but lately it really does seem like it spreads through the 25 to 30% that absolutely loves Donald Trump will, will believe anything he says so quickly. Like as, as I've been looking at um, like tweets about Jamal Khashoggi, the, his death, they have, they have convinced a significant portion of the country that he was a terrorist almost instantly. Sure. And you, any post online it will get Twitter responses, he's a terrorist, he's Al Qaeda, it doesn't matter. Yeah. It went so quickly. And so in this sort of thing too, the guilty until proven innocent, like the thing that, you know what was really lynching people? It was libs, libs were going around lynching lots of people. You need to worry about that. Yes, it was generally Democrats, mm. but this is like- I love that part. This is Dinesh D'Souza level historical analysis. It was Democrats who wanted segregation, so mm -hmm. you're on the wrong side. Like, yeah. but the party switched, mm -hmm. so like the people who were voting for that are now on your Tori, side. It's not even worth bringing it up because they will never <laughs> accept that realignment actually happened. Uh. One other thing, by the way. Again, you, I think you should be able to have one thing. You can have the fake ads pretending that black Americans need to worry about Democrats lynching them if Democrats win. Um, or you can go around the country disenfranchising minority communities absolutely horribly all over the place. It's going on right now in a number of places, but they're doing both at the same time. So that is truly disgusting. Mm. Thank you very much for watching this clip from the damage report. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell on YouTube to get notifications of our new videos. And of course, you can catch the full damage report live every weekday at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific on TYT Network on YouTube TV.